Uh, <clears throat> hey guys, Cody here. Uh, currently actually using some uh, white Hatchbox PLA. Oh, sorry, it's kind of upside down. Right there. Um, this review is kind of just for the Hatchbox filament in general. Uh, don't mind the mess, by the way. I get out of class in a couple weeks, so uh, I'll be able to start cleaning up my area and get this, you know, finish some projects I have lingering, like right now, how that's kind of just ghetto rigged. But uh, back to what this is about. It's about uh, this hatchbox filament, as you can see here. I got it in these uh, vacuum seal bags. I oh, did not mean to drop that. I got them over here too. These things are awesome. They're really cheap. Uh, at least the ones I got. I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference, but uh, here they are. They're like, I want to say, three or four dollars at uh, Harbor Freight. Anyways, so some recommendations. So it's good to store it. Got it with some silicone uh, gel packs. I got, I think, printer bot PLA with that right now, but. Uh, anyways, this PLA is absolutely awesome, especially for the price. I mean, you really can't beat it. If you got uh, uh, Amazon Prime, it's worth every penny. I mean, in two days, you have it. I think it was like $22. You have it. I mean, you get good or I've gotten good quality prints. I mean, no bumps or anything. I mean, it... I'm so happy with this. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's more of like uh, a reviewer said on the Amazon, or on Amazon, uh, that it's like more of like a watermelon than a red. I, I, yeah, I can see that. It's like not pure red. Like, uh, actually, I got some printer bot PLA. If you look, oh, it's kind of, sorry, you guys, it's kind of painting. As to see this, I don't know. It, you can't really see in this, but it's it is definitely like more of a watermelon or strawberry red. I don't know, but uh, it's awesome. I love this stuff. I've even done a little bit more intricate stuff like this, and as you can see, I mean, it's pretty pretty nice looking. This is a phone holder. Uh, got off thingy verse if you guys want the link uh, let me know I'll post it or am I just included anyways uh, yeah but yeah the stuff's great I've used it for this which was kind of not that smart actually because now it's it's loose same with this is hanging I'm gonna take that off make a different bracket like mount it over here or something I also gotta see how I'm enclosing it uh, just because of the heat. I was printing some ABS, so yeah. But I've also made, you know, my filament holder. I've made this fan holder, my other fan shroud. It's good stuff. It's express, uh, especially if you just want to print out some stuff and it's good. It's really close to being on size. I want to say it's, it is on size or maybe a hair over. But, uh, yeah, overall great stuff. Like I said, for the price you can't beat it. I've had the best of luck with uh, with their stuff and printer bot stuff. Push plastics, I'm still having issues with their. I get jams. It just it's uh I don't know. I don't know if it's my printer or not. I'm gonna have a friend who has a Persa. Or he just got it built. I'm going to have him try it out when, you know, he's comfortable with how his printer is going to see, you know, maybe it's my settings or, you know, I don't know. If you guys have any insight, they'll let me know. Because, uh, I mean, the gray I got, it looks like really good stuff. I don't, I don't get it. Ugh. Gray's in there. I mean, it looks a lot different than the black, which I'm still saving. I don't know. Maybe it someday it'll work but I don't know overall I'm just not having luck with uh, push plastic still but uh, 
hatch box, I've had uh, the white, the red, and I think that's all I've tried so far. But um, they've all been very, very great. Um, I love it. Can't can't give it enough praise because I mean the stuff just works great. I mean the layer quality. I actually got a piece right here. You can look. Don't mind the waviness in there. That was just I was having issues slicing with uh, Cura, but using Rep Repia or whatever, it it uh, looks really good. Um, I actually here wait one second. These were some uh, unfinished parts I had. See, way better layer adhesion. They're kind of like bent or whatever because. I don't know. That was for a different project. But uh, the next stuff I would like to do is this Ninja Flex. Uh, I got it off eBay. I'll do a review on that later. I had printed out a couple things with that. Uh, some issues. I did like a calibration uh, square and everything. Or a cube. Uh, I believe it's just wet right now. So I have it in uh, a food dehydrator. So I'm going to let that, you know, just dry out a little bit. I'm going to see if that gives me a better surface quality because right now I'm just not happy with it. I don't know if I actually have it. Yeah. Oh, actually right here. But uh, it's like really crap surface quality. I mean, I'm not talking about that or the overhang. I'm not even worried about that right now. That's all stuff I could change. But like the actual quality is like this bumpiness. I'm guessing it's from... Being a little moist because I can hear, or I read online, Ninja Flex is known for doing that. Uh, same with like nylons and stuff. But yeah, anyways, that's another video. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes though. I'll see you later. I'll leave any questions, you know, below or if you got any comments or what you do like, what you don't like, leave it all below and uh, subscribe if you want. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.